Mike can see. Uh, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our next few pieces. Uh, we were fortunate to be able to commission a set of low brass arrangements uh, of Queen Lily of Kalani's music with the generous support of a New World Symphony alumni, Lou Grant. And who is a New World Symphony alumni? Or alumni, sorry. It's me. <laughs> hey! Um, but yeah, so uh, we're going to do three of those pieces today. Uh, the first song is Ahe La Makani, arranged by Royal Hawaiian Band staff arranger Deshan uh, And this piece is one of many of Lili Kalani's mele that gives us some beautiful imagery of Hawaii. Uh, this piece is about the ocean breeze and was written at the Queen Waikiki home. Uh, the second song, Hawaii Kalani, can be translated to Taro Leaf Pop Raindrops. And this was written just before Lily Kalani made plans to travel to the mainland to request restoration of Hawaii's sovereignty. Uh, this was arranged by UH composition grad student Mika Dujima. And the third song is the Queen's Jubilee, arranged by Hawaii Symphony Orchestra composer in residence Michael Thomas Umai. Uh, Lily Kalani was invited to attend Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee in London in June 1887. She wrote five songs about this event. Um, in this one, she celebrates Queen Victoria's reign, ending with God Bless the Queen, Long May She Live. Uh, it's been a real privilege to perform some of the Queen's music on our own instruments through these arrangements. So uh, we hope you enjoy.
where it's going to be tuba solo with trombone section. So I thought I'd just pop up front and uh, just play away for you guys. And uh, yeah, just take you to church a little bit. <laughs> the best that I can after playing all of that hard work and other things up to this point. And now I'm just ripping through the messing slides. <laughs> 